Hey guys, so for day 26, I'm going to be doing this really cute candy design. To start off, I'm going to be taking White Attic by Nail Reserve and painting all of the nails with that. I do two coats of the white and I cure each coat for 60 seconds. <laughs> After I got the white on, I took some pink, yellow, and blue pigment powders and mixed in some white pigment powders into them to um, kind of make them a little more pastel and not as bright and neon. And then I took those mixed up lighter shades of the pigment powder and just tap them onto the nail, making sure to blend where the two colors meet. And in between each color, I do wipe my brush off onto a paper towel just to get any excess pigment powders off before dipping it into the other colors. Um, this brush is an e.l.f. like eyeshadow brush that I got from Target. For this nail, I'm doing those like candy dots that you can get that are on like the sheet of paper and you just pull them off and you can eat them. Um, so that's why I'm doing the blue, yellow, and pink and I'm making sure to blend them where they meet because on those sheets, some of them um, you can see the transition from one color to the next so they do mix a little bit and you get the green or the like orange on them. After I got the pigment powders on I take my rhinestone glue and a dotting tool and just create those little dots on the nail. I'm using my rhinestone glue because I wanted these dots to be pretty 3D since on the paper they are um, raised up quite a bit and I wanted that same effect on the nail. Um, after I got a couple of the dots on I would flash cure. What the heck? Are you crashing? I am so sorry about that. I don't even know what was going on. Um, I don't think they crashed because I didn't hear a crashing sound or anything but I don't know people are always driving uh, crazy up and down my street but anyhow like I was saying I put a couple of the dots on and then I'll flash cure them real quick just so they um, stay in place and don't run all over the nail if I felt like they were a little too flat I would flip up the flip the nail upside down so that gravity can pull the gel um, off the nail a little bit. Also, this rhinestone glue is not a no wipe, so it does cure with a sticky layer, but um, that doesn't really matter because I am going to be going over it with top coat anyhow. But I did choose to use this because I'm almost out of my no wipe top coat and I needed that 
or not top coat, um, rhinestone glue. And I needed that for another set that I was doing after this. So that's why I'm using this one instead of the no wipe. But after I got all of the dots on, I did put this in my big lamp to cure for 60 seconds. After I got all the dots on and cured, I take a lint-free wipe and some acetone to wipe off the remaining pigment powder. Um, this took a while to do. I also had to take a um, cleanup brush dipped in the acetone and go around and in between all of the dots where the um, wipe couldn't get to. And the pink really stained the bottom half of the nail so I did have to go over a little bit with the white gel polish again just to make it so it wasn't um, so stained pink anymore after that I mixed up some more pigment powders with the white pigment powder and I'm just um, Making this a candy corn nail, so I'm starting with the yellow, and then I go into the orange, and then I did use the white pigment powder on the tip there, because the white pigment powder is a little, like, pearl-like, so it kind of gives, like, a pearl sheen to everything, and I just felt like with the yellow and the orange looking kind of pearl-ish, I felt like the white just being a plain white would look weird so I did use the white pigment powder on there to match that um, like pearl sheen. And I did that on the pointer and the ring nail. Now on this nail I'm going to be doing the little gummy worms. So I just take the two colors that go together and dab them on next to each other and I do a, a few different um, like blobs of colors to create the gummy worms. Then I use my rhinestone glue again and my dotting tool to create the little squiggly um, worm shape on there. I do flash cure the little worms um, in between each one and then I put the nail in my big lamp and cure for a full 60 seconds. And I was only going to do one candy corn nail and 
Um, the other candy corn nail was supposed to be those like sour strips or whatever they are. Um, but because I was using pigment powder for like everything, I didn't think I would be able to create like the lines with the pigment powder and would have to use actual gel polish for that. And I kind of thought that would be a little weird because everything else was pigment powders. Also, they were a little more on the pale side and I don't really have very many um, pastel colors. So I would have to mix them up and I don't think I would have been able to get the colors to match the um, colors of the pigment powders because uh, there are some of the same colors on those sour strips as there are on the other nails that I was using. So I just decided to go ahead and do a second candy corn nail instead. <laughs> Now for the pinky nail, I'm going to be doing those sour octopus, um, or octopi, octopi, octopus, octopi, that sounds weird. Anyhow, um, I'm doing that on this nail. I was going to do gummy bears and I did, um, start out doing gummy bears on a nail and I had it, I filmed it, but then... Um, like I just had gotten the pigment powders on, but, and then I was going in with my rhinestone glue to create the gummy bears, but that just was not working out at all. So I decided to do these gummy octopi, octopus, whatever, instead of doing the gummy bears. And I feel like these turned out super cute and I'm glad that the gummy bears didn't work out because I actually really love um, this nail. And just like everything else, I would flash cure as needed. And then once I got everything on the nail, I stuck it in my big lamp and cured for a full 60 seconds. And then I did take a lint-free wipe and some acetone and wipe off the remaining pigment powders. I also had to take a cleanup brush and go in between the little legs of all of the octopi um, to clean up in between there. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now what I should have done was go in with my matte top coat and top coat everything before doing this, but I didn't. Um, instead, I decided to take my base coat and apply that to the gummy bears and the, or not the gummy bears, the gummy worms and the octopi and sprinkle on some of this really fine like clear iridescent um glitter to make them look like they were sour candies um also i don't know why i used base coat for this i should have used top coat but it kind of really didn't matter because the glitter covered it all so there's not that you don't feel that um stickiness from the um uh, base coat at all also i want to mention that i'm unable to uh, find this exact glitter that i have it's like a cnd acrylic like mixin um i don't know i guess they don't sell this anymore um because i cannot find it at all and i don't have another glitter that I can recommend or link because this is all I have. I haven't tried any other type of glitter that is similar to this, but I'm sure there are some out there. And after I get the glitter poured on, I do cure for a full 60 seconds. <laughs> And then I just dust off any of the excess glitter with a fan brush. And now on the two candy corn nails, because these are pigment powders and I can't wipe them off with alcohol like I usually do before going in with a matte top coat, I am applying shiny top coat to prevent the matte top coat from smearing and smudging the pigment powders all over the nail. But for the rest of the nails, I'm just going in with my matte top coat because the pigment powder is covered up by the rhinestone glue. Um, after I get that applied, I do care for 60 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. 
and this is how they came out. I think they are super cute. Um, originally, when I had planned out this design, I was going to do, like, um, different candy wrappers on each nail. So I was going to do, like, Snickers, um, Skittles, Milky Way, stuff like that, um, that you typically get when you go trick-or-treating. But, um, after that Disney set... I decided I didn't want to do this. I thought it was going to be too complicated and difficult and I just wasn't in the mood. So I switched up what I was doing and kind of went an easier route. And I'm kind of glad because I think these are super cute and they're just a cute little candy set. I know they don't really scream like Halloween candy because... Um, these aren't really typical Halloween candies except for the candy corn, but I still do think these are a super cute set. And I really love the gummy worms and the gummy octopus. They came out so cute and I love how they actually look like they're sour candies. Um, if the glitter could be top coated or like encapsulated or something, I would wear this set myself, but because the glitter can't be um, top coated or encapsulated, I would never wear this set myself because I hate the feeling of um, glitter when it's not top coated or encapsulated. I just hate that rough feeling that it has. And you're going to have to ignore the fact that the nails are barely hanging on to my nails in this clip. They were not wanting to stick on with the sticky tabs. I don't know what was going on. But anyhow, I think this is a super cute set. And I love how it's all soft and pastel. It's just so cute. This is definitely a cutesy Halloween set and not a spooky, scary Halloween set. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.